from Paramount Pictures. It's the Tom Likas Show. Amen. And now, and now, here he is, Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Likas Show. This is where America gets together to talk about the issues you really care about. It's a different kind of a radio talk program. We're the radio talk show that is not hosted by a right-wing wacko or a convicted felon. No. I am your host. Write down our toll-free telephone number. You're going to need it. It's 1-800-5800-TALK. 1-800-5800-866. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of our program. Here we are together again on the radio. It's a phrase I hear from guys all the time, and I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't get it. I want to explore this with you this hour. I've always said on this program that when it comes to relationships, I never press the rewind button. When a relationship is over, it's over. You'll never see me going back to remarry anybody I was married to in the past. You will never see me uh, moving in with someone I once lived with. You will never see today's girlfriend be a girlfriend from two, three, four, seven, ten, fifteen years ago. It just won't happen. You know, when it's done, it's done. There is usually a good reason for it to be done. And uh, I don't understand why anyone would want to go back. I do understand some people are a good piece of ass. That there are some people who are just uh, incredible in the sack. I understand all that. But there's other people who are incredible in the sack. And if you have any confidence in yourself, if you have any game, you know that at some point you are going to uh, meet somebody else and move on with your life. But I've got to tell you that uh, ultimately, and, uh, to go back to people you've been with in the past is just crazy it's crazy that you left that person for a reason or or more importantly they left you for a reason right she cheated on you she nagged you all the time you had an argument she left you for a reason you couldn't understand whatever take a hint It's done. It's done. Right? Take a hint. It's done. And yet, I talk to guys all the time. Not just once. Not just twice. Not just one time recently or right before I walked in here. I'm hearing this phrase all the time. I want her back, and I'm going to do anything I can do to get her back. Whatever I have to do, I'm going to do it. In my view, nobody is worth that. Somebody either bolted on you, rejected you, humiliated you, cheated on you with your best friend, disappeared on you, made you miserable... And it is interesting how as a relationship goes further and further back in the rearview mirror, it's amazing how many people forget the negatives and remember the positives. I will say myself that with uh, relationships that I myself have terminated, a couple of years go by and sometimes I remember the good times. I remember the fun. I remember the uh, laughs. I do. But how do you forget the uh, the bad stuff that happened? 
I think it's just human nature to forget, but you've got to remind yourself. I had a relationship, and, uh, you know, well, so many of my exes are litigious. I prefer not to specify which. I had a relationship with somebody that was a lot of laughs, a lot of fun, fun person, a person who brightened up my life at a time when I was feeling pretty down. And we got together, and uh, we were having a good time. We had a good six, 12 months. It was spectacular. We were just having the best time. But then later on, things changed. Later on, she uh, was always trying to demand that I buy things for her. Later on, she was constantly talking, 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 nagging, 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 never listening to a word I said ever. I couldn't believe when somebody had brought it up to me and reminded me of it, I had even forgotten at one point that one night she called me on the phone while I was working and she told me she was going to commit suicide. And then she disappeared for the evening. Didn't answer her cell phone. Didn't answer the home phone. Her friends didn't know where she was or wouldn't tell me where she was. And ultimately, I called 911. And the police got involved, and they were searching for her. But she told me she was going to do it. She was going to do herself in. Ultimately, it turned out she'd gone to a local bar, had driven her car to a local bar, I might add, where she was getting soused. And guys were uh, groping all over her. And uh, this was just her way of trying to get some attention. I finally got a call from her when she was so drunk she couldn't get up off the bar stool and much less drive her car home. And she wanted me to come get her. Now, it doesn't matter how much fun we had. It doesn't matter how many laughs we shared together. It doesn't matter. You know, she had the opportunity to be with me already. And she does not deserve me. Unfortunately, most guys don't value themselves that way. Most guys think they're lucky when a chick talks to them. Or when a hot chick bangs them. They think they're lucky to get it. They may never get anything like this again. And so they make commitments and they jump right in. And then later on, if it's miserable and the thing ends, some of these guys are, oh, I want to get her back. I'll do whatever I have to do. I'll agree to anything. Now, I know because you guys have called me, and we've never done this as a topic, but I know there are guys like you right now who have women from the past. They could be ex-wives, ex-girlfriends. They could be uh, people you were in relationships with. They could be high school sweethearts. And uh, for whatever reason, the two of you are not together anymore. And yet, your attitude is this. I want her back and I'll do anything I have to do to get her back. If you are one of those guys, if there's a woman you want to get back into your life, and you'll do absolutely anything to get her back, I want to talk to you. Tom Likas. 1-800-5800-TOM. Is this, this Tom? No, it's uh, the filler. The Tom Likas Show. She lives in my house for like the third time. Um, she's got this kid. What do you mean she guy. lives in your house? Yeah, she, li she lives in my house rent-free. She means she sleeps in your bed? Not usually. Not usually. So where does she, she sleep? Uh, most of the time she sleeps in the other room. And... I let her live it free, and I tried. To, I actually tried to kick her out this weekend, and then I kind of went back on it, and I don't know. It sucks. It really sucks. Why are you such a pussy? Uh, I don't know. I'm stuck on this. Like crazy. She doesn't like you. I know. She had a baby with somebody else. I know. How many? How many? How many hints does she have to give you? Well, she. 
She keeps coming back. That's the thing. She comes back to get free rent. She's a cheap bitch. Yeah. She's not coming back but, because she loves you. If she loved you, she'd be in bed with you. You're right. I don't know. I don't know. I, I mean, I tried to kick her out this weekend, and then she starts crying and telling me, you know, well, what am I supposed to do? That's, That's not, not your problem. She shouldn't let some other guy knock her up. Yep. And she left. She left me for this guy, and so and then and then came back and was like, "Oh, I'm pregnant. I don't know if it's yours or his." And I and so I I even like told her, you know, don't even worry about it. Like, I love you. I'll Fool. be with you. And then she left me for him again. Fool. <laughs> do you hate yourself? No. Clearly, you do. No, and the thing is, I'm 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 a good looking guy, you know. I'm I'm pretty cool. I play in a band and everything, but I'm just stuck on this one chick. But you're stuck know. on somebody who does not love you. Yeah. She dumped you <laughs> twice. She had a baby with another guy. She gives me the "I love you, but I'm not in love with you." That means I'll never have sex with you. That means I love you paying the rent, but I'll never have sex with you. That's what that means. Yeah, that's exactly what's going on. Women are the cheapest, laziest creatures on earth. Never forget that. Yeah. She loves the fact that she can live in your house and not have any responsibilities. Mm-hmm. That's what she loves. She knows I'll always take her back, too. Well, well, why, why is that true? Why don't you say no? It's, it's hard. No, it's not. She, she'll give it up a couple times, and then once she's back in, it's like, eh. Well, off. you're a fool. I am being a fool. Yes. By the way, you told Dino something you're not telling me. What's that? What did she tell you about two of her exes? Oh, no, no. I, I didn't. I don't know. What, that must have been somebody you else. You told Dean that she told you that she's still in love with not one, but oh, two oh, of yeah. her exes. You told oh, no, him no. that. Just, 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 the, just the one. Just the one guy that she has the kids She's with. still in love with him. Yeah. How many hints do you need? I don't need any more. I, you know, I tried to get her out. I, I told her she needs to go. As, as no, 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 it, no. It, you're leaving her an opening. No. Telling her she needs to go. She has no choice. So what do I tell her? I mean, out. Go, like today or what? out as soon as she can get out. You, you give her a you give her a time limit five days two days whatever, and that's it. Okay. What is she supposed to do? Not your problem. Not my problem. No. I would do that. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna tell her you got like a week maybe maybe till the end of the month. Does that seem cool? No. Well, why why you make it so easy? The longer you stretch this out, the harder it is for you. Yep. Why make it easy on her and hard on you? It's it's. I don't want it to be hard anymore. I just wanna. I can. I can't even. I can't even like bring other chicks home or anything because she's there. You're crazy. Tell her she's got till Sunday. Okay. I will do that. She must have other friends. Yeah, her mo her mo her parents live, you know, really close. So Good. She can go live there. That's where she ought to go. Okay. I'll tell her she's got till Sunday. And that's it. By the way, do you own that house you're living in? It's uh, my my parents own it. Your parents own it. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. By the way, one reason you should not have chicks move into your place like that because legally you can't throw them out. Yeah, that's what I was kind of worried about. Well, you're going to try to manhandle her by saying, "Look, I want you out by Sunday." The reality is, though, you can't change the locks and throw her stuff out. If she chooses to fight it, she can make your life very difficult. The other problem is, Tom, I, I, the last time she moved in, I loaned her some money, and she still owes me like 800 bucks. Oh, good luck. You're never going to see that again. Yeah. You're a, you're a complete pussy. <laughs> yeah. What are, you, what are you laughing at? It's, it's hard to hear it, but it's true. That's what you are. Yeah. How much does she spend of that money? Make yourself look good for one of the other guys she was uh, getting porked by. God, I don't even want to think about it. Think about it. 
So, do I mean, do I keep telling her about the money, or I just chalk it up as a loss, or what? Well, for your first concern is getting her out the door. Yeah. You should certainly try to get it back, but I don't think you will. Yeah. You could take her to small claims court. If only just to annoy her. It's not very expensive. Do I... Should I should I just cut her out of my life completely? Or yes. Or try to be friends? No. No? Out. Oh, no. Out. Stop okay. it. Why would you want to be friends with somebody who treats you like this? I don't. I, that's, that's the thing. Is then like, why are you saying, can we be friends? Why are you asking a question like that? Because uh, it's something that she asked me this weekend when no. I tried to get her out. No. Well, she's saying to you, can you keep paying my rent without having sex with me? That's what she's really saying. Oh, that sucks. That That's sucks what it so is. Much. That's what it is. All right, so Sunday. I'm going to give her till Sunday. Hang on a second, Chris. We have somebody else here named Chris. Chris, what did you want to say to Chris? Chris, grow a pair and get her out by the end of the night, dude. You got, I mean, in Arizona, you got like eight hours, nine hours. Have her pack up her stuff and get her out of your life. Yeah. That's all you need to do. Don't worry about how much you care about her because she doesn't care about you. So just get her out of your life. Obviously, she doesn't care about me. Yeah, and just just tell her, you know, get on your knees and lick them if you have to. <laughs> all right, thanks a lot. Get her out of your life. All right. Oh, uh, thank you to the second Chris. The first Chris, hold on there a second, because I want to get Matt on here. Matt, what did you want to say to Chris? Chris, man, I'm just curious. What uh, do you have any balls? Or I mean, you're letting this chick live with you rent free. She said she's in love with another guy. She's got a baby. Or, I mean, by another guy. By an, exactly who she's evidently still in love with. And what you're just going to continue to pay her bills? Well, that's why she's going to be out by Sunday. I would have her out by today, bro. Why are you going to wait? You're just putting it off. You're not going to do it. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. You need to get a pair of balls, my friend. Get rid of this bitch. BTB. So. So I had to say, Tom, will you take me out with a hole in my space tube? <laughs> with what? It no, that sounds to me like uh, somebody trying to get something in. A band reference or something, which we're bleeping out. <laughs> 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. There you go. Now, if you're just tuning in, what's the theme of this hour? The theme is I'm going to do an imitation of you. I'm talking about you, the listener. You. Okay. If you want to call in, this is you. I want her back. I'll do anything to get her back. That's you. If that's you, call 1-800-5800-TOM. It's one 800 500 8 Six six, Andrew, in San Diego, on the Tom Likas show. Hello, Tom. What's up, brother? Not much, Andrew. Hey, long time listener, first time caller. Thank you. Love the show, though. Whenever I can listen. Thank you very much. Yeah, look, man, it's real simple with this. All right, this normally never affects me. It was about a couple, three weeks ago. I met this girl. Um, she, she's fine. Excuse my language. She had it going on. Um, we got into a little argument. She let me go. It's like that. It's just like ignored every call, you know, all that stuff. Now, for some reason, I can't get her off of my mind for like the last three or four days. Just thinking about it. It's because, it's because she told you you can't have her. That's why. Basically, you see, the thing is, too, is we had already been in bed together probably after about a week or two. And you normally think, all right, you get that out of the way, now it's time to move on. But I can't. Well, I can. But it's just, it's one of those things, it's just the weirdest thing, never, coming out of the clear blue, never used to You only something. want her this badly because you couldn't have her. At least a little longer. Pal, she dumped you. Uh -huh. It's done. Rather quickly, man. How much humiliation do you need? 
Yeah, I feel you, man. I feel you. I mean, that's what I was thinking of. But I don't know. It's like I got unfinished business or something. No, again. Your unfinished business, as you call it, is merely trying to fulfill your very large ego. Yeah, maybe that's it. I mean, it's kind of tough. I mean, at the beginning of this month, I was dating probably three or four girls. One of them I didn't sleep with. The other two I did. Then it was her. She was like the last one. You know, because the other three or four got rid of me. She was like the last one kind of on the list. I really dug her, though. We had fun. It was cool kicking it with her the whole night. And then, bam, it's over. And I guess, I don't know. Just can't explain why, why I feel the way I do. I just told you why. You want her because you can't have her. I guess it would be that simple, huh? That's it. Do you understand? Yeah. Yeah, no, I got it. I do. So uh, that that's not a good enough reason to go back to somebody like that. Yeah, I guess I see, man. I mean, you know, I listen up to your show a lot. I always hear all this stuff about um, the whole relationship thing, no marriage, no nothing. I kind of, more or less, I do. I have to say I'm with you on that. Because, I mean, this is the kind of stuff people go through all the time when they're in relationships and all that. Normally, I'm not, you know, normally, like I said, I don't let it get to me. No emotions, no none of that. That's because it's your ego. Think about it. You're not well, in hey, love. What, you know? You're not in love, right? Yeah, you're right. I really am not. There's no way you can never be in love like that. You're not. Well, hey, I figured I'd give you a ring. I mean, you have experience talking to guys like this all the time. And so I'm doing it, and I'm telling you. Stop letting your ego rule. She's getting the better of you because she decided to bolt before you were ready to bolt. Uh huh. It is not that you're in love. It is not that you have unfinished business. It is that it's your ego. Yeah, I guess that's it then. That's it. I'm telling you, it's hard though. I don't know why I can't stop. Because your ego has been bruised. So get over it. Just move on. I'll probably forget about her next next girl. You'll forget about her when you're getting laid again. Get laid. <laughs> exactly. No, that's the way I see. It. I mean, that it's got to be that. Otherwise. You know, so no longer. So go do it. That. How hard is it? You got no game. You had other chicks. Go get laid. Yeah, see, that's the thing. And it kind of effed me up because normally, I mean, it doesn't usually throw me for a loop like that. I don't. Because normally you decide when it starts and when it ends. Yeah, it kind of effed me up for a little bit. Yeah, well, get over it. You'll get over it as soon as you get laid. Hey, that's it then. That's the answer. I know it is. That is the answer, and you know I'm right. Hey, well, thanks for the advice, Tom. I'm here to help. I love the show, though. Love it. Thank you, Andrew. I've actually tried to call in in the past, but I never could get through. Here we are. Yeah, I know. This one this one hit home. I was listening right before I came inside my apartment. I was like, oh, I got a call. Got a call. Well, you got in? I'll keep your ego in check, pal. And get laid. 1-800-5800-TOM. It's George on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Tom. Yes. Hello, Dad. Hello, son. Uh, Tom, I need your help. I'm here. I can't get over my ex. Your I ex? Just, I just DT. Why do you her. why do you have a girlfriend at nineteen? Yeah. I'm asking I, that yeah is not the answer to that question. The question is not a yes or no question. It's a why. Why do you have a girlfriend at nineteen? Well she wasn't my girlfriend girlfriend because I broke up with her let's say two years ago. But it was just on and off with no title. You know what I mean? I I was with her, but... So there's I, nothing I, to break I, off. 
What was that? There's nothing to break off. I know, but she was still there, and she still wanted to be with me. And I was like, you know what? If you want to be here, this is the way it's going to be. It's going to be my way or just leave. I'm going to mess around. I'm going to do whatever I want. And if you still want to be here, then it's your choice. So she she didn't want that. Oh, I know, but she chose to do that, and and she knew I was sleeping around with other girls, and she chose to do that, and then she came, she gave me drama this past Sunday, so I just ended whatever whatever we had. All right, but I I don't know. I just it it just it just hurts, bro. No, no, it's you're another one with the ego. It doesn't. You're not in love with this woman. You want to have what you want to have. Right? It's just, I don't know, I just can't. I can't. I, 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 I'm I trying to. I, I, you I want to, to have I to, You want to have what you want to have. You want to be in control. You want to be the boss. Yeah, and I, I told her, you know, it's going to be my well, way. You're the boss of you. You're only the boss of you, not others. If others don't want to put up with what you want in your life, then they have the right to go, and you should let them go. And I did. Great. So Perfect. I haven't called her back. I haven't done anything, you know. She's always the one that comes. I never beg her to come back. She always comes back to me. I've no, never, never done that. All right. So are you a man or a mouse, George? I'm a man, of course. Oh, of course, yeah. Well, then why don't you stand up for your principles? You want to be able to see whoever you want, whenever you want to. Yeah, and I told her that. And I if did. she, all right, you told her that. So she doesn't want to be with somebody like that. She told you that. No, no. Yes, it's, yes. But then why was she still here for the past two years dealing with She's that? She's finally had enough. I had enough. I ended it with her Saturday. Right. Sunday. All right. But the point is, you, know, you didn't end it with her. You said that you didn't want to see her if you couldn't see whoever you want. Yeah. Well, yeah, b- yeah basically. Right. Well, so she decided she doesn't want that kind of arrangement. And she told you. Well, she she didn't give me drama because of that. She gave me drama over something oh, dumb. Jesus she, you Christ! Know, but why she, isn't she there today? Well, she told me she she. I guess she finally decided. You not are to come dense. Back. You know how dense you are. You're thick as a brick. But it's just like I don't know. I just I don't know why I can't get over. Her. I don't know because why. you like being the boss. Finally, somebody stood up to your crap and said, "I don't, I don't want what you're telling me. I have to take." But she, she, she has always done that, and then she comes back. All right, maybe now. What, what is she now? Eighteen? Maybe she's an adult now. Maybe she's matured somehow. Maybe she's uh, changed. I mean, she's very young. People change, you know. They grow up. They evolve. Well, I know that, but I just well, just because people always did something that might not be in their own best interest doesn't mean they're going to be suckers forever. Yeah, I'm just hoping she doesn't come back. Cause you're hoping she doesn't come back. Yeah, because I don't. Want you just her said back. you want her back. You're crazy. I I can't take any more of this. Tom Likas, one eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. I knew you were always fit, but I just didn't know it was to this extent. The Tom Likas Show. Tom like a show from Hollywood at 1-800-5800-TOM. Uh, remember, uh, we're not just on the radio. We stream live at blowmeuptom.com. You know, we're on radio stations that preempt us for sports. Or sometimes they don't run our show live. Some stations don't even run our show at all. Hey, if you need to hear our show on the Internet... You can hear it between 3 and 8 p.m. Pacific time. Go to blowmeuptom.com. Click on the Listen Live button. Now, you'll be sorry you didn't write this down. If uh, you ever uh, come into a situation where you can't hear the show, you just want to go to blowmeuptom.com. Blowmeuptom.com. Got it? Blowmeuptom.com. And you'll have the show. It's that simple. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Uh, If you're a caller, here's what I want to hear. This is you. Okay, this is you. I want her back. I'll do anything to get her back. 
Okay, if that's you, call 1-800-5800-TOP. 1-800-5800-866. Chris on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello, Tom. Hi. Um, I had a go to a funeral down in Sacramento over the weekend, so it kind of made me feel old. And uh, I came back, and my wife was giving me a list of chores to do without saying anything about Father's Day. And uh, I just, you know, it was like the straw that broke the camel's back, so I told her I wanted her gone, basically, because I just wasn't feeling it from her. And I've called you before. I'm the sexless father of three from a while back, and uh, it's kind of a pathetic story. But anyway, um, <laughs> anyways, last night I kind of sounded like that a little bit to her after thinking about everything and spending a day at work. I just all I could do is think about it all the times. And and since she's only been, she's my only, so um, it's it's really hard to let it go. But I know I need to in order to you know, be the kind of person I want to be, and I got a lot of stuff I want to do, and I can't do that, having to babysit three kids five hours a day and work at the same time and try to, you know, just, it just feels like she had kids just to have them, but I still love her, and that's the problem. Cause but she, she won't even have sex with you. She's not in love with you. Well, she ha she's, we have occasional sex. And the last time was actually she got some tips from people at work, and it was actually kind of nice. But I don't, I don't, it, inside of me, deep inside of me, I know this isn't the way I want to be living. I mean, I sleep on my living room floor, and it's just... Well, why? This is your living room. Well, I don't make a whole lot of money, and uh, she just started... Well, that's not money. love. You're staying there because you don't make a lot of money, and she does. No, but she's, she's moving out on the 25th. There and you I, go. And, and and we got her in a place. I might be homeless for a minute, but my I I won't hurt for Well, not once you start getting out. not once you start getting alimony. Well I, she's you know, she I don't I don't think the money thing is gonna be that big a deal because I You just said you'll be homeless for a minute. Well, I have I have friends and family, you know. Yeah, but why wouldn't you want to get alimony? Why wouldn't I want to get alimony? Yes. Oh, well, I make twice as much as she does. I thought you just said that she's making a lot more money and you're not. No, no. Well, after I pay her, she's got more money. What do you mean after you pay her, she's got more money? Well, it just seems like every payday she keep, she gets to keep hers and I end up forking over like 1200 bucks. Why do you allow that? Well, just we have a lot of bills together and right now I'm feeling a little crazy. And, uh, well, you need been... to you need to uh, sober up here, Chris. No, well, I'm a stoner, and it just. Uh, well, maybe you need to put the weed down for a while. Well, if I don't, I get incredibly angry. Not, but you know what? You should be incredibly angry about what's happening to you. Yeah. You're not violent, are you? No, but it, well, I I'm I'm in a gym where we are violent, but it's appropriate for the situation. No, no, but the point is, you're not going to hit your wife or anything. No, no, no. All that's right. Why I so, go to the gym. so guess what? You should be angry. Well, that's what I keep trying to tell that's, myself. But every time well, I look put, at her, I just... put, put the joint down. Put the pipe down. Yeah. Push the bong away. That's how I cope right now, though. Pal. So I just need to go get away from her and try you to... You need to her. get angry. Well, she, I just... I don't know. I love my kids a lot. I'd hate to... They'll still be your kids. Well, how do I use this anger constructively, then? So because that when she leaves... all I was doing was making her cry every day. It is time for you to realize that her leaving will be the best thing that ever happened to you. That's what we keep telling ourselves. No, no. It's a fact. Yeah. You can't see it because you're stoned. Yeah. Because you're in the middle of it, too. Yeah, I am in the middle of it. <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty much all of it. I'm, I just, uh, she comes home at 9 o'clock on a good night, and she's been coming home half drunk at like midnight a couple nights a week since she started working, and she's only been drunk around me twice, and whenever she's got anything in her. All right, then let's make you really angry. You know why she's out drinking and coming home late, right? Yeah, because she's 
She's planning on blanking. She's something. not planning on She already has. Yes. You think so? Yes. And that's why she's moving out now. That's why she chose this time to go. Yeah. I knew I wasn't crazy for thinking it. Like you're my, you're one of my voices in my head, and 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 you know every time I mention anything like what you would say, she gets really defensive. Oh, but she does because we got her it. number. Uh, that why do you think she's at work talking about her sexual issue? Yeah. You know well, why she's talking about sex with the people at work? Oh, well, I know she's doing. Because she's that. boning somebody at work. Well, I keep telling her to talk to people at work about it. That's the, you know, because I kind of, I'm trying to push her out the door, but it's just that once she's at the door, it's like I just feel like stopping her. Well, so uh, you want to live with somebody who's boning somebody else, do you? No, 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 no. Oh, well, that's what you're going to get? I'm about to eat somebody else's kids. <laughs> I mean, that's what you're going to get? I, I'm not, no, that's why, I, that's why I told her when I told her, because I was like, you know, all the signs point towards you cheating. And whether you say you're not or you are. It's beyond cheating. She, in her mind, forget cheating. The relationship is over. She's got a date that she's leaving. Yeah. This past cheating. No, well, she didn't have the date until I told her that I wasn't digging the situation. Yeah, all right. So she has a date. Great. Hang on a second. Angie, what did you want to say to Chris? Did this man just say that he babysits his own children for five hours a day? Well, I'm at work, and how, I, how is I it work babysitting all day, and then I come kids. home, pick That's them up, parenting. and then I take them back to my side jobs. She's babies, he's babysitting while his wife is getting boned by somebody else. She, I seriously doubt she's boning somebody else. It sounds like she's having to take care of paying the bills and running a household, and he's just smoking He, he weed just said he makes... He just said he, he just said he makes twice the money she does. Yeah, and she leaves for work at. And then like he cries that he morning, gives money to pay the bills until midnight. And I work the I work from seven till ten at night, and I'm watching kids for five of those hours, feeding them, picking them up, making sure they got clean clothes on, not covered in. And, and they're your children. They are While she's kids. out getting hammered. Well, she's not hammered, but she comes home with a couple beers in her. And, and I'm, you, and and you I'm smoke so weed. frustrated so what's the difference? at this point that I push her away. And anyways, it just makes the situation worse. I just, I need to get away from, I just need some space. And I thought the gym was giving it to me, but you, the more, you need I, more, the more space. I stay around, the angrier I get. You need all the space she's taking up is what you need. Rick, what did you want to say to Chris? Chris, 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 put it down, my friend. Put it down. I just want to tell you that I was married, okay? My wife divorced me. She made a little more money than me, but my alimony and child support is twenty four hundred a month. I took, I didn't get, I took full responsibility for my actions and my child. Okay, and I puff weed. Big deal. Let me just tell you, Chris, going to that gym ain't gonna help you. You'll be knocking a junk at her before you know it. What you need to do, my friend, is you need to tough it up, get an attorney, get a life, and get out. Well, that's the problem. I've been married, and I haven't been getting a life. I've just been married, so I'm, I know what I'm. I'm doing all the steps. I've been I've been listening to Tom since I was 19 because my boss told me I needed to listen to you, but I just didn't have it in me to take off on my wife when she had no way to get a job that could even pay, even pay like 500 bucks in rent, you know. And I just wanted her to be able to take care of herself. That's all. That's all. What do you think about that, Rick? Oh, my gosh. Chris, you got to start taking care of Chris, okay? And when you do that, you're going to find out that you got some little kids involved in this thing that need some help. They need somebody stable, okay? She's obviously not it. I'm not sure you are. But you need to get an attorney, like I said, and get out of this thing. Get the court, get what custody, about, and get out. What about those mediators? She said she'd be willing to talk to one of those. Well, that's wonderful. As long as it goes her way, I'm sure she would. But it, it, mediators are wonderful as long as the mediator wants to mediate for your side, okay? If it's a female, forget it, okay? Uh, Papa Tom's going to tell you the same thing. All right. Our email address, Tom at BlowMeUpTom.com. The Tom Likes Show.